Okay, let's see. We're running. Okay. 3.8. My settings. People are asking how I'm running it. Had to change a few things from 3.7 because they changed things. But here in 3.8, this is how I've got it set up. We'll go into options. Let's go into graphics. This is what I got. I run my resolution at 2160 by 1200. Now, I started running at this resolution because back in 3.7 and prior, field of view for this resolution was 110 which is perfect for a Rift or a Rift S because that's what they show even most uh, indexes, valves uh, run 110 resolution uh, Prime X is much higher the only way you can run higher than 100 is if you have multiple monitors and you can actually get your field of view up but the trouble with that is the minimum is 140 you can't run it any shorter than that but if you're running the Prime X, your resolution, you're going to have to run it off multiple monitors, creates its own problem. Now, one thing I have discovered in 3.8, I haven't actually played 3.1 yet. I have gone in, screwed around to set this up, but haven't actually gone to game and play. But one thing about running the 2160 by 1200 versus, say, 1440, is you will gain about five frames per second or so not a big difference but the difference is in the game I can't tell the difference between 1440p and running at 1200 my eyeballs are not that good so it doesn't really matter to me I can run both ways but I do gain about five frames per second by kicking the resolution down a little bit okay quality full I run it in windowed mode uh, for several reasons I don't know it used to be that if I ran it in full screen the uh, trouble is is that it would reset my whole desktop every time I came out of Star Citizen to eliminate that I just started running in Windows mode and I found it runs just fine in Windows mode and I do no longer have the problem of it rearranging my screen every time I use Star Citizen which was very aggra aggravating icons and windows everything would be all over the place as soon as I exit I uh, don't know why it would affect it it's something in the game itself no other game does that when I run full screen but Star Citizen does so I just put it down to crappy programming <laughs> whether that's true or not I have no idea motion blur I turn off don't use it don't use vSync I can't get to I can't get to any level that I'm gonna screen tear Playing Star Citizen and VR, I can I can't even get to 60, much less uh, worry about it. Usually run 50, 55. I don't I don't use full screen window again. I don't care. I just window it at the, this resolution, uh, and for me it works perfect. Of course, I turn off chrom chrom chromatic aberration. I think it's worthless. I'm not watching a TV show or a film. Why am I using it? And I also have turned off the new field grain because once again I think why do you want to make what you're looking at in the world crappy film grain when I want to I want the immersion of being there like I see it through my own eyeballs not off somebody's camera okay there you have it that's what I got turned on in Star Citizen you know this calm stuff I just have everything turned off. I, you know, uh, their face tracking useless in an HMD. Your camera's not going to pick you up, so there's no sense in turning it on. You have full face tracking in your HUD with uh, using an Oculus or an Index. So there you go. Key binding stuff we're not going to worry about. Has nothing to do with how the game plays. It's personal preferences. Okay, now that we've got. The game itself set, we're going to go in here and then we're going to bring up Warp X menu. You can see it because I'm running I'm running the game in a VR window, uh, in an Oculus window, so you can actually see all this stuff. I have since 3.7, when 3.8 started I had to switch to immersive screen. The reason is they cut down my field of view from 110 to 100 so I can no longer see the edges of the screens for chat and stuff. However, by using immerse, immersive screen mode, I can. I can look to the edges and I can see my chat and stuff again now. 
high screen offset distance. Some people like it really up close. I do not. I've got it backed out as far as I can so I can actually see when I turn my head. I can see the edges of the screen. Uh, you can run it in Z normal or you can run it in 3D geometry. I have found that in 3.8 it makes no difference. I cannot tell the difference in 3D if I use 3 Z normal or 3D geometry. So you might as well save the frames per second because 3D geometry does pull more out of your GPU. It'll slow your game down. Uh, switch them back and forth. Look for yourself. I can tell no difference anymore. Something they've done in Star Citizen once again that have has nullified it. Uh, 3D geometry used to be I could pull the rocks off the ground and make them float in the air. I can no longer do that in 3D geometry. As I said, I cannot tell the difference between using Z normal 3D and 3D geometry. Play with it yourself, see what you get. My, I figure I might as well save the frame rates. I went back to Z normal. Even though I would prefer to have a little more 3D geometry, it doesn't make any difference. 3D strength, adjust it to your preferences. Uh, it's all there is to. Now, they're all, all there is to it is just adjust it the way you like it. You know, some people like more, like less. It's not going to have a big effect in this game. It's the way the game's written. Nothing's, uh, nothing Vorpex can do about it. Head tracking multiplier. Now, here's this. Here's the one that matters. In, in immersive and screen mode and full VR there is a difference in how it, how much head tracking you want. I have cut it down to 0.75 or set it at 0.75 and it may still be a little high. I haven't played enough to worry about it but there you go. There's your main settings in Warp X and what I have the game itself set at and we'll just go in here to uh, I think I turned on Levski, which has terrible frame rates, but we'll just go in and look around here before I do anything, and we'll show you how this appears to me. Okay, so they keep nerfing things they don't talk about, like field of views. Like I say, this resolution before, I could, I could turn it all the way up to 110. Well, they nerfed that. Why, I have no idea. Uh, they felt they needed to, I don't know. But like I say, you are, I am limited, everything is limited now to 100. There is no max over that unless you use multiple screens, 21 by 9 or whatever that resolution is on multiple screens. And then I don't know what the max is, but I do know the minimum is 140 and you can't set it any lower than 140. So that's problematic too. Yeah, frame rates aren't great here, but as you can see now, as I turn my head, I'm actually turning toward the edge of the screens in immersive mode, where in full VR it stays stationary, but now I can look over and I can actually bring in my chat and read it all without having to use Edge Peak, which uh, moves the screen out like that. I don't have to use it anymore. Uh, I like can perfectly read it. Wow, nice. I'm not saying that like it's a good thing. But before, if I'm looking straight ahead, you really, you don't have enough field of view anymore that you can read stuff on the side of your screen. Like right now, I'm looking straight ahead, as you can see, I don't know, in VR mirror, you should be able to tell that I cannot read the chat until I turn my head left. Uh, then I can pick it up because I'm scanning the whole screen. So that's what I've done. Now I am, I do use a game pad here when I'm a uh, FPS. I've got it set up. So, yeah, frame rates aren't great here today. Nothing I can do about that. Just the server I'm on. I have no idea how crowded it is. But this is Levski, and a lot of times you go into Levski, you've got bad frame rates. A lot of places in Star Citizen, you will get. Most of the times when I'm out and playing, I get around 50. Uh, places like Levski, Lorville and stuff usually chops my frame rates in half. And I can actually bring it up and you can see it. Let's see what I'm getting here. I'd say 25. Let's see, up on my left hand screen. Well, you can see it. The game is running at 15. So that's how bad it's running right now. Headset's running at 80, but the game itself is not running very good. 
which is I pretty much expected. They had a new patch. I'm in left ski. There's not much I can do about it. Uh, it's not too bad awful, but yeah, I notice it. If you're, there's nothing I can do about it except turn off Warp X and run it on, you know, run it on flat screen. And I will check out later what happens when I get away from Levski. May have been a bad park. Probably should have gone to Alasar to start up. But I chose Levski instead. And frame rates are not great. Now I can cut that frame rate way down here. I can show you what happens. It's going to be god awful in 3D geometry, and you're not going to be able to tell me. See it even kicking down even more. I'm running six in 3D geometry, and you, I can tell no difference. I can tell absolutely no difference between geometry and Xenormal. So, your choice what you run, or run it at. But I say save the frame range, you can't tell the difference. Might as well run as many as you can. But yeah, it's really bad here today. I haven't seen this bad of frame rates for a long time. And it may just be the patch. They may have gone backwards. They've overloaded the servers again. I don't know if they increased the members on the server, but they couldn't run decent at 50. I don't know why they thought putting 60 in it was, it was a good idea. But, you know, that's Star Citizen. All right, we're out of here. That's all we wanted to show you. Showed you what I was running, what I got it running at. Like I say, we're Levski. That may be the frame rate issue. Who knows? It's Star Citizen. It's, it happens. So, hope that helped the guys out who were uh, looking, uh, looking for some answers, trying to get their field of view up.